What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about the possibility of Tesla licensing out its electric skateboard technology, its industry-leading combination of a battery pack and powertrain that gives its electric vehicles the longest range on the market, the ability to charge the quickest, and the cost of those batteries is some of the cheapest in the industries. So it's no secret that according to my research, Tesla is a huge leader or multi has a multi-year lead in battery technology. And so there's always been a lot of speculation about will these other legacy car companies try and partner with Tesla to get a hold of this extremely valuable battery technology. Originally, I would have thought you were crazy if that was going to happen anytime soon because Tesla has been so supply constrained, they literally haven't been able to build enough battery packs for their own electric cars. So forget about licensing them out to other people and giving away that excess supply. But now recently, rumors have started to heat up about the potential for a licensing agreement of Tesla's technology. And I think it's really worth exploring on Tesla's Q3 conference call. We got a really interesting clue about all of this, and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since. So I'm just going to read you the transcript. And it's from um, Adam Jonas's stand-in analyst, George Daly. He asks, great, and then if I could just sneak in one more. So it's been over seven years since you launched the Model S, and many OEMs seem that they don't have the same commitment to battery electric vehicles that you do, and many don't even offer one right now. As your business model proves to be more sustainable, could we potentially see Tesla maybe supplying other OEMs with batteries or software or complete electric vehicle architectures, maybe in an effort to accelerate the mass adoption of sustainable transport? Elon Musk replies, yeah, I think there's... It would be consistent with the mission of Tesla to help other car companies with electric vehicles on the battery and powertrain front, possibly on other fronts. So it's something we're open to. As a lot of people know, we open sourced our patents so that those would not serve as an obstacle to the adoption of electric vehicles or solar power or stationary storage. And we're definitely open to supplying batteries and powertrains and perhaps other things to car companies. So there you have it right there. Elon Musk says that they are open to supplying um, their battery technology to other OEMs. What the transcript doesn't show you is there was like a 30 second silence um, before they actually, after the question was asked, in between when Elon Musk answered it, which was a really fishy, which makes me think there was something going on in terms of maybe they're having active discussions with someone. Maybe this is something they're actively thinking about. Um, and I just think there was an interesting clue that I'm reading into there of a very long uh, 30, 20 second moment of silence um, that makes me think something is brewing here. And then just a couple days later, we get some really interesting news from VW at a conference. The CEO of VW um, basically sort of t- t- in talking to reporters about the, the threat of Tesla and said um, was in quibbling with reporters who suggested that Tesla is in trouble because it's too small. He basically acknowledges that Tesla's mass market says Tesla is not niche. The Model 3 is a large series model and they're one of the biggest manufacturers of electric car batteries. So now we have this really interesting turning of the tides of VW starting to acknowledge Tesla's disruption. And remember, VW is one of these companies that could potentially license out their skateboard. I know VW has said that they're planning on building their own electric platform, the MEB, which is going to set up for their ID3. But there's a lot of reason to think that Volkswagen could be involved, particularly because of some news that happened in August, where the Volkswagen boss reportedly said he wanted to take a stake in Tesla to get access to their technology um, and their batteries specifically. The same article even says that the CEO of Volkswagen and Elon Musk have regular meetings about this, which is really interesting. But then we got more news about a week later um, from Volkswagen denying all those claims, saying we're not interested in Tesla. But anyway, the point is there's a lot of rumors swirling with Volkswagen and Tesla. But tie in another clue. Just a couple days after the Tesla conference call was the Fiat Chrysler conference call. There, the same analyst, Adam Jonas from Morgan Stanley, the same guy who brought up this question to Tesla, goes on the Fiat call and asked them about the potential of partnering with Tesla to license their electric skateboard. And the CEO of Fiat says, it would be wrong of me to say no. Adding their batteries and drivetrains will likely be among the components that Fiat Chrysler will be purchasing from Tesla. The CEO also highlighted the possibility of the company buying a skateboard platform from the electric car maker, which it would then tune for its various brands. So anyway, at a high level here, we have Elon Musk on the conference call saying they're opening 
uh, to licensing up their skateboard technology. Now we have Volkswagen, who's kind of been saying they're interested, but not really saying they're interested, but they're swirling. And then we have Fiat Chrysler, who's already buying hundreds of millions worth of regulatory credits from Tesla in a partnership to offset their carbon emissions or ICE vehicles, um, now saying that they're open to buying the skateboard from Tesla. So a lot of interesting stuff going on under the hood. But first, let's take a step back and think about why would these huge car companies buy, te buy Teslas? Why is Tesla's skateboard so valuable? What evidence do I have that this is in fact the best in the industry. Okay, evidence piece number one, Tesla has the longest range electric vehicle on the road. This is really simple, but if your car can go 370 miles on a charge like the Model S, which is almost 100 miles more than the next best car on the market, that's pretty good proof that Tesla's battery technology is significantly better than every other car company's. Literally, their cars have the longest range in the industry and nobody can keep up. Reason number two, if we go beyond range to the core efficiency comparison done by my friend Matty Mogul, shout out to Matt, this is an amazing piece of research that consolidates um, the price, the battery, the range, and the weight into a core efficient efficiency rating, the kilowatt hours over range, over weight, which basically goes to show you the overall efficiency of that skateboard technology. And as you can see, Tesla is far ahead. Every single one of their cars are the industry leader in terms of core efficiency ratio. Um, and if you think about the cars that Volkswagen is putting out, like the Porsche Taycan way down there at an 8.2, there's almost a 35% uh, gap in efficiency for these cars. So the technology, not only is the range less, but when you get into the core efficiency rating as well, the gap even widens more for Tesla's advantage. And then there's another layer to this, which is more speculation um, and there's no official data on, but my guess is not only is Tesla's tech better, but that better battery pack is costing them less to build than it is for all these other auto car companies because Tesla, I was just in Nevada visiting their Gigafactory, actually builds the battery packs themselves. They pioneered this technology of stacking 4,000 little cells into a battery that used to be for consumer electronics. I mean, Tesla's literally invented um, this basically electric skateboard platform, and that's why you think these other legacy car companies should have it down, but this isn't their expertise at all. They build engines, not electric skateboards. So that's why when they're trying to build skateboards, A, they're not vertically integrated, so they're buying batteries from everyone else, like LG. So there's another middleman, there's a layer where that margin's getting scraped away. So they're buying third-party batteries. They're not designing their own chemistries. That is causing a huge friction to the performance and the cost of those batteries as well. So I think you have this, this system of every car company building batteries that are performing worse, that are costing more. I mean, it's just not a good way to compete. My third piece of evidence of why I think Tesla is so far ahead in battery technology and electric skateboard technology is because I was at Monroe & Associates which is one of the leading independent consultants of the auto industry, works with almost every major, major auto brand in the world. Their business is literally tearing down cars, costing them, figuring out what tech goes into each car. And uh, me going there, talking to Sandy Monroe and his battery expert and his team, like it seems crystal clear that Tesla is years ahead in battery hardware for them. So they're another third party independent source. So anyway, Tying this all together, um, my research indicates Tesla's electric skateboard is way ahead of the competition. And now we have these huge automakers who are realizing they need to commit to electric vehicles are, are kind of desperately scrambling to get a supply of cheap, efficient, long range um, electric skateboards and nobody can find them. And, and it's insane because the layers of Tesla's advantage are very deep. They're even beyond performance and cost. It's actually like sustainability of the supply chain as well. Just for a little example, um, Volkswagen trying to build their own MEB, you know, platform for their ID3 electric vehicle, those batteries um, are supposedly going to contain 12 to 14% of cobalt, with, where, while Tesla's Model 3 batteries can contain just 2.8% as of last year, and they're continuing to reduce it. Cobalt, as you know, very volatilely priced sort of conflict mineral because of the way it's mined. And so even though Volkswagen can't even make as good a battery for as good of a cost, and they're even cheating by doing it using these materials that they shouldn't be sourcing. And so the more deeper you dive, the, the deeper deeper you realize Tesla's advantage is in this battery technology. Now the question becomes, how are they going to do it? If Tesla's scrambling to ex expand supply for its own products, how are they going to get enough supply for these other companies? Strategy number one could be licensing. They could literally just hand over the playbook to another company on how to build the actual electric skateboard and powertrain, let them set up their own factory, start building them, and just pay Tesla an extremely high margin royalty. That's one way to do it, although I think that's a little more difficult because I think there is a lot of expertise in the execution of actually building these battery packs, which Tesla has uh, is been working on at Gigafactory 1. So the other way they could do it, this is just sort of a moonshot idea, is let's say Gigafactory 4 in Germany. We know 
Tesla is on the cusp of announcing that? What if they announce a deal with, let's say, Volkswagen or another major German car company to say, okay, you put up a couple billion of the CapEx, we'll, we'll give you maybe a hundred or 200,000, uh, you know, electric skateboards a year for putting up that CapEx. And so they basically get a piece of the output of Tesla's Gigafactory 4 in terms of electric skateboards. And then because they put up the capital, Tesla didn't need to put up the money. It's sort of a win-win. But either way, no matter how you slice it, I think from a high level, this is extremely exciting because this has been year, this is validating years and years of Tesla's research um, that they have the best in class electric skateboard technology. You know, it's been significantly under monetized. That's why when people talk about looking at the financial statements, how do you value Tesla? They're not making that much money today. You got to look forward at the technology they're developing and the value that's going to have in the future. And now that the world's going electric, the world's coming to Tesla, people are seeing Elon's mission, that decade of working ahead of seeing the vision and be a first mover is now becoming a huge advantage. Now we have these huge sharks circling desperate for Tesla's technology, whether it's a licensing deal, whether they partner at another at a future gigafactory to get some of the output either way we are looking at a huge huge massive profitable deal for tesla um, if they figure out how to license out their skateboards so i kind of wanted to make this episode just to throw this out there because i would have thought we were at least years away from tesla licensing out their electric skateboard technology but my new theory is we could get an announcement as soon as battery investor day maybe they announce gigafactory 4 and they announce a partnership to license out the skateboard i don't know but the the, the, the chatter on these conference calls is very 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 interesting, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Tesla uh, make a deal to license out its best-in-class technology, which would be a huge validation of the company, a huge cash infusion uh, for shareholders, depending on how that goes. But anyway, a lot of excitement. Would love to know what you think in the comments below. Um, will Tesla license out their technology? Um, what does that look like? Because there's so much speculation here, um, but I'd love to know what you think. This is HyperChange. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, fun in the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.